Next on the agenda, Dr. Williamson, we have our recognitions. Okay. Well, we're very fortunate tonight. We are recognizing students from all three levels, elementary, middle, and high school. So we have schools here supporting their rec recognized members, and we are going to go down Absolutely. on the floor. Absolutely. Oh. All right, schools going well. He's only got to eat a month and a half left, and then he's done. <laughs> okay, am I using my clothes? Is that why I brought them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just the money in the water. Okay. First, first award is the Shining Star Award, and it recognizes a Queen Anne's County Public School support person who shines. This award is sponsored by Chick Fil A and Docks Riverside Grill in Centerville. I'd like to present Michelle Gervin from Kent Island High School with this award. <laughs> I'm going to try and read over all the noise. Um, she was nominated by her co-worker Megan Robinson. Is she here? Megan, you want to come up? She heard about a trial. And I think your principal is here. Yes, Mr. Strachenbach. Ms. Garvin inspires students, teachers, and parents with her charismatic and generous nature. She excels in her role as paraeducator and can always be seen with a smile on her face no matter what happens. She is a real blessing to our school community. Okay, guys, ready? Ready. You ready, Cindy? One. One, two. Three. There you go. One more. One, two. Three. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now comes the difference maker. It's an important award for us because it recognizes a teacher. And this one happens to a um, teacher who makes a difference in the lives of his or her students. This award is sponsored by Sullivan Financial and Chick-fil-A and Docks Riverside Grill in Centerville. And for this award, an essay is selected through which a student shares a success story about his or her teacher and how that person made a difference in the student's life. And so that person happens to be Mr. John Dewey from Southernsville Middle School. <laughs> Now, I don't know, is a student here? Is Megan here? No. He was um, recognized by one of his students, Megan Parks, and in her essay, Megan explained that when she first started the seventh grade, she was very shy. At first, when he would ask her to read, Megan would always refuse, and as she got to know him, she felt more and more comfortable around him and willing to participate since he was so funny and had, he was such a great teacher. When, he, um, when Mr. Dewey's dad passed away, she said, I was so sad because I knew what he was going through. So when he came back, I said, I'm going to help him. And this is what she said. So she found ways to make him laugh. Every time she would see him, Megan says that she thought to herself, wow, when you give, you get. So you smiled back at her, right? And you made her feel good. No. You made her feel good. She says he's the best teacher. She says he's the best teacher she ever had. Ever. 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 So, well, first we get Mr. Walls, who's his assistant principal. And, and if you would like father-in-law to come up, that would be fine. Oh, yeah. Mr. Bell Darling. Come on, we're not dressed up to Dr. Williamson. And if you'd like Candace to come along, she can come to. Give me the family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead, it's been a long time since we've been in the picture. Alright, you guys ready? One, two. There you go. One, two. The next one's a favorite award of everyone's, the Energizer Bunny Award. And it's given to staff members or volunteers 
who just keep on going. This award is sponsored by Bayview Investment Council Incorporated. Mr. Chip Reddingham, Mr. Wayne Humphreys, and Mr. Mark Humphreys. So if you'd like to join oh, me yeah. up here. And I would like to present this award. <laughs> present this award to Kathy Michaels. She's a tutor at Centerville Middle. Principal is here as well. This is Amy Hudock. Here's what was said. Nobody was here with me. Um, Mrs. Michaels is a tutor at Centerville Middle School. She specializes in math intervention. Wouldn't that drive you nuts? Don't you hear what they said? Right. Here's what they said about you. Ready, Ms. Michaels? All right. So they said um, you were nominated by Jane D'Angelo. Is she here? No. All right. Ms. Michaels works very hard not only teaching the students math, but also helping them with any other subject with which they need assistance. She takes her job very seriously and makes it her goal to help every student succeed. She not only teaches, but is a mentor to her students always offering a smile and encouragement. Ms. D'Angelo's words, in her words, she says, a true energizer bunny who never gives up on any students. She is an asset not only to our school, but to our community. Thank you. Ready? One, two, more. Oh, One, sorry. two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to have my charge. We're going to find someone next to I'll stick Okay. I can do this. Are you ready to go? Ready to go? Hey. Okay. All right. Now, this is our hero award. Does everybody remember what the hero award is? You should because you've been here every meeting. <laughs> okay. It recognizes students who exhibit heroic actions. Nominations are for students who have done something for the good of others, despite it might being a risk. This award is sponsored by our friends at Six Flags Theme Park, including Debbie Evans, who offers two complimentary tickets to Six Flags, as well as the Anti-Bullying Committee and Character Counts. Maggie Rabin from Graysonville Elementary School was nominated for this award by our to read this. Um, she was nominated by her teacher, Mrs. Harhoff, and behavior specialist, Ms. Schroyer. They here? Okay, let's come up. And Mrs. Carey, principal. Okay, they both had a story illustrating how Maggie exemplified the qualities that coincide with the Hero Award. Do you know the story already? No, all right. In Ms. Harhoff's words, Maggie always has a kind heart and defends anyone who is being picked on or bullied. One day, a few people ganged up on a student because she kept asking the same question. Instead of saying, you already asked that, or why aren't you paying attention, Maggie said, it looks like you're having a rough day. What was your question again? I'll try and help you find the answer. Very nice. Maggie sticks up for others, includes everyone in her games, and encourages everyone to get along. In Ms. Schroyer's words, there was a time Maggie witnessed a student being bullied by a group of students. She privately came to me to report what was happening. When I interviewed the victim, she said that Maggie was someone who was always kind to her and stuck up for her. Maggie is truly deserving of this award, and we're happy to honor her for her courage to stand up for what is right and for her kindness towards everyone she meets. Congratulations, Maggie. I wish we had all of this. special recognition. This is for the Laws of Life contest. The Laws of Life are a set of rules, ideals, and principles by which one should live by. 
in the Character Counts Midshore Laws of Life Essay Contest, the principles are based on the six pillars. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. Students in grades 6 to 12 are invited to participate throughout Caroline, Dorchester, Queen Anne, and Talbot counties, Queen Anne's. The essay is focused on how the pillars affect their life at home, school, on the sports playing field, or with family and friends. A student was chosen from each middle school and high school in each county to receive $50. The sponsoring teacher reward, um, receives $50 as well. The overall middle school winner and overall high school winners receive $150, and the overall winner for the Laws of Life contest receives a $2,500 scholarship. And we happened this year to have the overall winner. All right. All right. And I want to make sure I get the right name. Is this the person that got the overall? No, I know this one right here. Mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to call the uh, middle schools first, I believe. No, middle school and high school. I'll go in this order. Maya McGregory, McGor McGrory, I'm sorry, McGrory from Centerville Middle School, and I would ask Jackie Carter. Jackie. Don't say Hi, Maya. Congratulations. Congratulations. And did you want to make a comment after I read the rest of the names? Certainly. Okay. <laughs> then we have Megan Kelsey from Ken Island High School. <laughs> She's not able to be here. We have Jacob Ward from Mat uh, Mattapique Middle School. All right. We have Sarah Schauber from Su Sudlersville Middle School. Okay. And then we have one more winner, and this is the overall winner for. Um, the entire region, and that was Abigail Lewis from Stevensville Middle School. All right, Abigail. Abigail. And Jackie, I'm going to let you make a couple comments about um, the Laws of Life contest. Okay. Uh, we have four counties that uh, participate in this, Talbot, Caroline, Dorchester, and of course Queen Anne's. There were 1,114 essays that were submitted this year, so it is a great honor just to be chosen from your school to be represented. But then when you can get up into the higher um, honors as well, it's really great. And it's been a couple of years since we've had a scholarship winner, so uh, we were definitely thrilled. And it's very hard to keep that secret when I know it. <laughs> Especially when mom's talking to me on the phone and saying, you know, well, I'm gonna, I'll be here, I'll be there. And I'm like saying, yes, yes, you gotta be here for all this stuff. Um, but the level of writing is increasing every year. So every student should really feel proud uh, just for um, submitting and then actually being chosen for their schools. But it's getting harder and harder because we read different counties and it, it's, 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 we get a lot of top scores and then we have to winnow it all out to come down. So it's, uh, the schools are doing a great job with, um, our, our children's writing skills, the children are really picking it up, our young people are really doing an excellent job, I think, so, um, and it's a great way to just really honor um, our youth. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great award. Yep. All right, one, two, Three. <laughs> Three. Throw a blanket, it's your fault. <laughs> 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 Good job, guys.